I don't think there is any right or wrong answer to what I'm going to discuss, which is about remake or revamp a website. Because we get approached quite a lot by people that want to do a bit of a makeover. Or maybe you're offering to help someone out like a business or even another web designer. And they've made their website. They've invested a lot of time and money. And it might even be a WooCommerce or a brochure website. But there's problems with it. And I don't just mean the page speed performance. I'm talking about the flow, the makeup, the headlines, everything about it. And you may go, yeah, we'll do a makeover. But when you start to look deeper, it might be flooded with plugins. It might be using things that you would not have used. And it might just be that it's better to start from scratch. Now, I don't say always do that because obviously it's probably going to cost a client a bit more money. But there have been many situations where you feel like you're going to save them the client money by doing a makeover instead of building from scratch. But when you start to do the makeover, you then realize it's better to start from scratch because there's been legacy code. There's been things added. There's nothing worse than when someone has gone through like 20 themes or 100 plugins. They've added, removed, added, deleted, deactivated, whatever. And they might have run like a WP Optimize or they might have done a WP Reset. The trouble is the back end file database will still have possibly, and when I say will, I don't mean that indefinitely because it is possibly possible. There will be like ghost imprints, okay, lurking around within the file database. And they can like add something in to the, I'm not explaining this very well. I never do. There's always a pattern when I try to explain something, I go off on a tangent. There's going to be like an imprint and it might be an old image and you've deleted the images, you've cleared everything out, but it's still there. There might even be a part of a, a snippet, a plugin, a bit of code, something you've added. Could be a previous page builder. Or to optimize, believe it or not, even when you delete and deactivate it, there's still bits of all to optimize lurking in your code. So you got a website and you're trying to do your best to make it over. But there's back end bloat, garbage. And even on the front end, you know, you got a page and it might have like 50 sections um, or containers and you're going to remove them and start from scratch. Well, what are you starting with scratch with? Are you just going to take the exact wording and make it look nicer? Or are you going to do the wording different, but match the old design? Or are you going to do completely new wording and new design? And these are the conversations you really have to have with yourself and the client in terms of, is it good to just do a makeover or do you do a full redesign? Now, even doing a makeover, you have to break down into the fact that, sorry, let me explain that again. Even when you do a full redesign, you might keep some aspects. So if it's a WooCommerce store, are you going to rebuild all the products and variations and attributes as well? Maybe they've got a particular sales funnel or cart funnel flow and they've got something going on in the back end. Do you maintain that or do you just literally go, we are starting full on from scratch? Like I said, the cost of doing a full blown mate, um, brand new website to some people means more money. But if you're going to spend 10 days on that, you could easily lose 20 days doing the makeover because every time you try to do something that you know works, hey, parent container, two child containers, header and text, it should work. But you add in the child container and then all of a sudden it keeps moving to the left. And you go, well, I haven't added any CSS. I've gone into the theme, but I'm not entirely sure where to look. And there must be something coded somewhere. And what's worse is when that website has been built or worked on by 10 other developers, right? And their admin accounts are still active um, and they're not even working on the site but they can probably see changes you're making or not. And there's been fudges everywhere. And I hate working with fudged backend or front end. So when someone approaches me to do a revamp, I will be very objective. Can we do a revamp that's going to make you and me happy? And you may be surprised to hear that. Why should, it, why should I be happy? It's all about the client. No, because I'm doing the work. Client comes with a proposal, 
I don't care what they're paying. If I'm not invested or interested or I don't like the sound of it or I don't think I can do it, you've got to be brutally honest, okay? Do you know how many times someone posts in any forum? And one of the questions I ask them is, is this for you or a client? And the minute they say it's for a client, now if they're struggling to do something that normally they know what to do but it's not working, I excuse that. But when someone posts in a forum to say, how do I do X, Y, Z? And I'm like, is that for you or a client? And they say it's for a client. I then go back with, well, why did you agree to do that? They've said they want this and you've said I can do it. And you're probably charging them whatever. And now you're coming to us to tell you how to do it. Why did you say I can do it? Because the client didn't pay you to go and find out how to do it. Because you said you could do it. So now do it. And that's the honesty, okay? So don't care what revamp project comes my way. I need to feel like I want to do it. But I would be very objective. Again, I've gone on a tangent. I'll be very objective about it. And if I feel like the amount of effort and work that's going to go in is going to make me spend longer on it, which means I'm going to have to charge the client as well, right? A lot of you are going to say, yeah, but you have a price to build a website. Yeah, of course you do. You're going to have a price for a one-page website. But if that one-page website is going to take you 10 days as opposed to one day, are you still going to charge the same price for a, a brochure website? No, your time and effort kicks in. The stress kicks in. The motivation kicks in. Sleepless nights kick in. Sleepless nights kick in. How, how would that even work? Sleepless night kick in. The kick. Oh, anyway, but so when it comes to revamps and a full-blown makeover, be objective and be realistic. You know, even like when you look at it and you think, yeah, I can do that. Have a look at the back end, right? Even if you do it for free, right? Five minutes is all you want, right? Get the admin from the client, let them know, tell them to make a backup, go in and just look at the plugins. Is there anything in there that makes you go, hmm, go and look at the templates, whatever page builder they're using. Is this a website with 200 templates? So even the homepage is loaded, right? Nothing has been built. It's just all template, 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 template everywhere, right? What have they got in there? Because if you say to someone, I'm going to revamp and make your website shine, you better deliver on that because this is your reputation and a testimonial at stake. What's your thoughts when it comes to revamps and makeovers? Like if anyone said to you, do a revamp, would you just do the revamp or would you really think hard about, hmm, I think it's better to start from square one, like literally full blown brand new website, or we delete every page, maybe loads of the templates, and we build again every page on your website to make it fit your branding and make it look good. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and keep following because I'll keep seeing you.